Out the Cuts versus Balloon. I have heard of this Out the Cuts person. I wish I had Calvin next to me to uh, give me the rundown. Because he knows the players. I know the game, he knows the players. Ready? But out the cuts. Oh, a Falco player. Yes, uh, that does definitely ring a bell. Bart is, I believe, six on our very own Oregon PR. I'm going to go check that right now. And out the cuts seeming like a pretty capable Falco player as he has Bart up to nearly 100% at this point. And if this doesn't go well, I can definitely see uh, Bart making the switch to Falcon. And that's going to be another. Ooh, Randall saves him. Good job, Randall. Those of you not in the know, let me put you in the know. Randall is the name of the cloud that circles the bottom of Yoshi's store. That guy with the happy face right down there, that is Randall. And uh, out the cut's really utilizing crouch canceling to get those shines off and get those uh, early percent combos in. Ooh. Nice, and it looks like uh, Balloon here is starting to adapt to these crouch canceling that out the, these crouch canceling tactics that out the cut is using in order to implement his own combos. Randall once again coming in to save the day. And a double laser on the stage. And Bart taking his first stock. Sometimes it takes a bit to adjust. Gets trying to get those lasers going when Bart comes back on stage. Very aggravating uh, portion of Falco's gameplay are those lasers. I knew Bart expecting Out the Cuts to simply tech or get up right away. Out the Cuts reads it and gets him to get up attack and eventually leads him into a back air. But yeah, six on uh, the ver our very own Oregon PR. My very own Oregon PR because we're in Washington right now is Balloon. And out the cuts, I'm not sure if he is a PR player, but he is uh, obviously a good player. Right now, he's just, he's showing uh, very solid combos with Falco right now. Just knowing the timing really well to where the hit stun just barely wears off by the time his next hit is coming in. Great awareness, or a uh, great reaction right there. See what happens is uh, Balloon went up with one forward there and planned to come down with another to create a wall. Uh, however, Outcuts decided to jump up with an air to interrupt his cycle. And it's a very good cycle to interrupt. In fact, anytime you can interrupt Marth, you really should. Uh, because if you don't interrupt him, he's just going to keep swinging that sword out there and he's going to keep walling you out. Great power shield. Premature a beam, no punish on it though. Uh, there was a little, was a moment where he just stood there. Fire stall, lets him back on the ledge. Not in a great position, and Balloon knows it. Ooh. Air dodges off the ledge. Air dodges right off the ledge, leading to a wave dash down. And that's going to put out the cuts on the scoreboard. Alright, match two, out the cuts versus Balloon, and Balloon staying Marth. Uh, this is actually a choice I definitely agree with. I believe for the majority of the last match, he was really just uh, trying to get used to the style of out the cuts. He knows Falco, he's used to Falco, he just needs to get used to uh, out the cuts. And there we go, at only 15%, this is the exact reverse situation that we saw at the beginning of the last match. Out the cuts was roughly at 15% 15 per, 15 uh, when he took Balloon's first stop. And a uh, really unorthodox, but effective, Dancing Blade from Balloon. Hey. 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, real shame that didn't finish. But it was a, it was a beautiful concept. Have that dancing blade into a forward smash. Not looking good for out the guts. Oh, and a great tipper. He's really doing good with those tippers right now. He's really stepped up his game. He's got that download going. And the thing is, also, um, even if, uh, let's say that he has he had the download complete halfway through the last match, out the cut would still have a whole lot of momentum. So sometimes it takes the break in between matches to give your momentum a break. Look at this. To break up that momentum and get your own momentum back in four stocks, a mere 80%. Bloon is really putting the screws to him right now. Looks like he's feeling very comfortable. Uh, very, very comfortable with this. Good power shield. He waited for that, too. He just sat there and crouched and said, Alright, you go ahead and shoot your laser. I'll power shield it right back at you. And at this point, um, recovery-wise, I really don't expect out the cut to do anything except for go for the, go for the sweet spot ledge. Uh, but that great combo right there, creative combo right there from Balloon, is going to win him the match very handily. I apologize, I'm going to have some uh, dead spots in the commentary where, not where I'm not saying anything. Uh, simply because I'm the only one talking at the moment. Alright, but we're up in match three right now. Wow, that reset doesn't get a capitalization off of it, off it, but he's really on the right track right now. Uh, when somebody, when you can reset somebody with a jab, especially with uh, with Marth, uh, then you know that you're in their head. You know that you've got a nice beat on them. And that's just trouble for the other player, obviously. Great read. He went up there and did his dancing blade, and that popped him right up onto the platform. A uh, really great little known technique with Marth, actually. A lot of people don't use that. Premature counter is going to get him nared. That's going to do it. He actually got hit by the slight back end of that uh, down smash, but it still sent him off to the right. And like I said, that momentum breaking mechanic between matches, it looks like it's uh, it's working for out the cuts as well right now. He just had no momentum the other game. It was all Bart. And it's looking to even out right now. And that trade is going to benefit uh, out the cuts really well uh, just because he was able to capitalize on it. I've seen people do a lot of trades so far and haven't been able to capitalize on it, but out the cuts got that ledge and got that stock lots of hitboxes flying around right now all right Bart great tech recognizing that he's gonna get hit right there I've got not gonna go for the ledge right now Bart is biding his time wondering what's going on here Outcut's doing exactly what a Falco should be doing, spamming those lasers. Get that stun when they try to recover. And, all right. He was trying to roll for a little bit too long, got hit off the ledge. Oh, gets traded from back air, and that's going to be it for his stun. Right now, Outcut can afford to go a little bit willy-nilly. He can afford to uh, go in like crazy. With Bart at 70, 80% right now. It's not looking good. A creative option right there. Doesn't pay off. Spacing a little bit off right there. Probably would have gotten the stock at that percent. I mean, come on. All right, so right now, uh, this is a Marth versus a Spacey. And this can happen. He needs some grabs, he needs some reads. This can happen. It's going to be difficult. Uh, because, like I said, right now, Out the Cuts has got the momentum. 
Bart just needs to reverse that momentum and get it in his favor. And he's getting caught in empty hops. A little bit too much, and oh! I meant to hit him with the other side of that back air. That one's not going to kill either, because it was from the other side of the stage. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, almost gets him with that. Bart really looking to make a comeback right now. And that's going to be it for that stock. At 158%, any trade is going to kill him. He has to be extremely careful. He's got to bide his time. Find Oh, no, that's that's going to do it. That is going to do it. All right, that was that was still a beautiful match. Uh, really great effort by Balloon there at the end. Did a great job bringing it back.